Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. School is back in and it's time to change the food habits as my mother would call it, brain food time to help make change from summer food to school food is Jillian of Millennium Nutri Nu Nutrition. Millennium Nutrition. You got it, there yeah. There we go, we got Thanks it. Thanks for it's, having me. Uh, like, yeah, thanks for coming in. Yeah. So this is very important right now because, again, when uh, the COVID uh, shutdown, as we like to call mm -hmm. it, happened in March with school and everything, parents kind of like already started that summer food and pretty much were throwing snackables, yeah. throwing things. I was kinda, there. I did yeah. that too with my kids. It was just like, <laughs> keep them entertained. Here's all the gold fish your little heart could want. Exactly. And, <laughs> right. and that kind of like worked and then moved into summertime. Then we started to go, okay, it's summertime. They started being more relaxed, more relaxed. But now right. we're back to school and the kids are home. But again, they're starting school. So you got to really make sure they have the brain food. That's right. To, to be one, as we like to say, focused. And two, kind of like having the energy of sitting in front of a computer zooming sure. with the teacher. Yeah, so. more than ever they need to have that energy and also their immune system, right? So we want to keep them healthy and the key to that is a balanced meal. That's going to give them the energy they need and then also the nutrients to keep them healthy and keep that immune system up. So yeah. we're going to share my lunch formula and my snack formula to keep them full and satisfied so you aren't giving them lunch and snack a million times a day. So, all right, down here I see a couple yeah. of the, uh, these are lunch ideas. Yes, so really the, the formula is to do half of your plate veggies and then a quarter of it a protein and a quarter a starch or grain. So you'll see here the one that you're holding up is a build your own pizza. So we have the cucumbers with a marinara sauce, the protein is the turkey pepperoni with the cheese, and then we have a whole grain pita. And this is fun because they get to build it themselves. Yes. So they get to put it all together, get a little messy, so more of an at-home lunch. And do you recommend a thousand of these on the little pizza? Yeah, yeah we're not going to do that many pepperonis. Oh my gosh, when I saw that I was like, this is a perfect segue into this. this. I, okay, and over here? So this is actually, this is a fun one. This is a, a smash PB&J is what my three-year-old Emma and I call it. So we have the veggies on the side, even doing like the little sh um, shredded carrots is a fun way to get them involved. And then for the PB&J, this is fun. This is a little activity they can do. So I'm going to show you guys how they can do this. So so typically you put jelly on a yeah, sandwich, right? right? And that can have extra sugar. So we're gonna make our own jam and the kids get to do it. It's so fun. So you just put any type of fruit in a baggie. You can do bananas, you can do blueberries, and then they get to mash it up, Ooh. create their own jam. And again, no added sugars in there, right? So it's just fruit. And then you just spread it onto your PB&J. So you can just literally just get a knife, put it right on there, and then you have a healthy PB&J for them. Uh, okay. And my little trick too, sprinkle a couple chia and hemp seeds on there, and these are healthy fats and some fibers and protein in there, and they don't even know. <laughs> no, I see the little plate here. I see how it's yeah. like sectioned off. Yeah. Is that like smart to have right yeah, there? Yeah, so these, I mean, these are just from Target. You can get them anywhere. A lot, a lot of kids' plates are divided anyways, and these were perfect. I was like, this is the great division. We want half of those veggies, the protein, and the starch or grain on there, so you're all set. So I like it. Okay. Yes. Um, a very important too is to make sure you are following the rules at school about lunchtime yes. and when you're doing that so that way the kids are being healthy in that way too. Exactly, yeah. So follow the rules, give them, get them involved and then make sure that you're having that balance of nutrients to keep them, again, energized and focused on maybe their computer screen for now. <laughs> there it is. Okay, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to give any friends away or anything, but I've had friends who pretty much have taken the goldfish, um, I think some Skittles, um, I think some uh, gummy <laughs> worms and stuff and pretty much have just thrown them on the floor and said, kids, See, yeah. there goes your snacks, enjoy. And you know, sometimes that's the solution. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes that's all you can do. But really the key with keeping a snack that's gonna keep them full and satisfied is to pair a protein with either a fruit or veggie. So keep that little formula in the mind. You wanna add those two together. The protein's gonna keep them full and satisfied. And then the fruit or veggie is gonna have a little bit of sugar in there to give them the energy. So, so that's my snack formula. And I have a couple examples here yeah. that I'll showcase. So this is actually, my daughter and I call this a dump, dump trail mix. So we <laughs> usually find, go in our pantry and see what we can find. So usually the protein is a nut or a seed, so these are cashews. And then we have a dried fruit here, the raisins. You could do dried mango, you could do apricots. I threw a couple of M&Ms there because, you know, I'm a cool mom, so yeah. we're going to have some fun with it. <laughs> um, but really just go and create your own trail mix, that dump, dump trail mix. Yeah, okay. And then another one is doing cheesy crackers. So we have, I love these little, do you have you had these little baby dolls? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, they're so good. So some little cheeses, some crackers, and then some apple too. Um, and then it's kind of fun to peel and have fun. So whether it's a string cheese or like these little baby bells, fun to get them involved with the snacking too. So I like it. And yeah. I also like where you were talking a little bit also too about packing the lunch. Kind of like it's like you're going back to school in a way because yeah. it gets the kids in that mood of, okay, let's see what we got in lunch today. And exactly. And then them. also you have it prepared. I mean, I'm all about convenience, right? So how can you
can you even have the lunches prepared so then when you're working during the day or you're busy and the kiddos are ready for lunchtime, you're not having to spend an hour preparing something. Keep it, get it ready to go, have it packed, so when lunchtime comes around, you just roll it out. Yeah, and I know also to remember that the kids are back in school, so kind of like follow the rules about soda and those sweet drinks yeah. that they're not supposed to have at school, so exactly. continue that, right? Exactly, continue that, and also, I know some of the things I ha have here are, are nut-based, I know that's a, sometimes a concern yeah. too, so you could always swap out for like plant-based options, like for this, you could do like a dried edamame instead of the nuts, so definitely pay attention to those rules, and of course, no, the liquid, this liquid calories, that's not the way to go. Stick with water, the juices, the sodas, those are just going to add way too much sugar, and you know they'll be bouncing <laughs> off the walls with that. Exactly. <laughs> Julian, how can they find out more? Um, you can find me on millennialnutrition.com, and I'm always on Instagram at millennialnutrition. Perfect. Thank you, Thank Julia. you.